Hey everyone, my name is Jessie and welcome back to my channel. And so for this week's video, I am going to be making another recipe from Joanna Gaines Magnolia Table Volume 2 Cookbook, and that is a coffee cake. And guys, this is really simple, really easy to make, just simple basic ingredients that you hopefully have in your pantry. But without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, and so we are going to start off by making our shirsel topping. So in a medium-sized bowl, you are going to take 3 fourths cup of sugar, half a cup of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and five tablespoons of cold butter that I just cubed up. And you're just going to take a pastry blender and just give it a good mix until nice crumbly bits. Okay, our streusel topping is done. Now we're just gonna pop it in the fridge till we're ready to use it. Okay, and so now I'm going to take a nine by nine baking pan and I'm just going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. And just make sure you get all the edges and the sides just so your cake doesn't stick when you're trying to get it out of the pan. So now that it's prepped, we're just gonna set it to the side till we're ready to use it. Okay, so now we're going to start on our dry ingredients. So I am taking two cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt, and give that a good whisk. Okay, and so now we're going to get started on our wet ingredients, which I'm using eight tablespoons of room temperature butter, three-fourths cup of sugar, and I'm just going to cream that together for about four to five minutes till it's nice, light, and fluffy. Right, and so that's been creaming for about four to five minutes and you just want to make sure you're scraping down the sides of the bowl and also the paddle as well and once you scrape down the sides of the bowl you're going to add one egg along with three-fourths cup of milk and two teaspoons of vanilla extract and just give that a good mix till it's well blended Okay, and so that's been blended together. So now I'm gonna slowly add our dry ingredients. And you can do it in about two to three portions. And just try to make sure you get it inside of your bowl, unlike me where I made a huge mess. <laughs> but we're just gonna ignore that. Okay, so cleanup is all good. And so now I'm just going to add my second portion of the flour and just give that a good mix till it's all mixed together. And of course you wanna scrape down the sides of the bowl. Okay, and this is what our final batter looks like. It's nice and thick and creamy, and it looks delicious. Okay, so now we're just going to pour our cake batter inside of our prepared baking tin. And we're just going to take a spatula and kind of smooth it out, make it nice and even. Make sure you take it all the way to the edges and the corners. Make sure it's nice and even so that it can bake evenly. And now we're going to take the streusel topping that we made at the beginning of the video and just sprinkle it all over the top of the cake. Okay, and so now we're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes or until the center is cooked all the way through. Okay, so our coffee cake is out of the oven. I gave it plenty of time to cool, and you guys, this looks amazing. It smells amazing. You can smell that sugar and that cinnamon, and now let's cut into this. So I just got my little spatula here. Let's see. You guys, this looks amazing. Okay, we have to try this. But let me get a fork. Okay, I got my fork, now let's try this. Oh my gosh, you see all the crumbly bits on top. Oh my gosh. This is so good, you guys. It's light and fluffy and buttery and it's sweet and it has that cinnamon flavor oh my gosh it's absolutely amazing mm. 
That is so good, you guys. You definitely have to try it. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. But now I'm going to finish this slice of cake. And so I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.